It's hard to underscore just how important Cardinal Mark Wallet is to the Catholic Church. Speaking from the Vatican earlier last month, the Quebec native soared up the ranks of the church. He led the powerful bishop's office for the last 12 years, is a close confidant of Pope Francis, and was once tipped as a future pope. Yeah, it was a very influential position, uh, and he's been a very influential uh, figure um, for a long time. But his decades-long storied career is now abruptly over, overshadowed by allegations of sexual misconduct. In a simple missive on the Holy See website Monday morning, the Vatican announced Cardinal Wallet is retiring. In a statement, the 78-year-old says he has surpassed the age of retirement by three years. He says, it's time for me to take on new challenges. But observers believe Wallet's position had become untenable. This is a major player within the Curia, uh, and so any attention like this certainly detracts from the integrity of his office and certainly uh, of the Vatican itself. Wallet faces two civil complaints of sexual misconduct, alleged to have occurred when he was Archbishop of Quebec. Earlier this month, one alleged victim came forward, revealing her identity. Je ne suis plus F, je suis Pamela Gros. She accuses Wallet of inappropriate touching. Victims groups say Wallet's retreat sends a powerful message. I hope it helps them to see that their efforts are not in vain, um, that there was value in them speaking out, and that they have been heard. Experts say Wallet's move signals an important change in the church's approach to sexual misconduct allegations. The era of moving a priest from pillar to post to protect you know, the um, sc the church from scandal, that, that day is gone. For his part, Wallet has countersued one accuser, promising to fight the allegations he claims are false. Amanda Jelowicki, Global News, Montreal. New information has emerged about the late Jean Vanier, who co-founded a charity called L'Arche. Its investigation identified 25 women who experienced a sexual act or an intimate gesture from Vanier between 1952 and 2019. The report says Vanier exploited people looking for spiritual guidance. Many of these accusations first came to light in 2020, a year after Vanier's death. He was the son of former Governor General Georges Vanier and worked with the Canadian Navy as a professor and as a professor before turning to charity work. He co-founded L'Arche in the 1960s as a community where people with disabilities could live as participants and not patients. The report stresses none of the victims identified had intellectual disabilities.